Hello, my name is Esteban Serna. I am a senior DynamoDB specialist solution architect, and I help customers design secure applications using Amazon DynamoDB. In today's video, we're going to discuss about resource-based policies where customers can simplify their cross-account access and define the security posture on the DynamoDB table, global secondary index, or DynamoDB streams itself. If we have to compare identity-based policies versus resource-based policies, with identity-based policies, you define the permissions on the identity itself. In this case, we have users, for example, John Smith, Carlos Salazar, Mary Major, and Shang Wei, and we define the permissions on the different resources that they will access. On the other side, resource-based policies let me define on the resource who can access and what permissions they will have. So I define on the resource which identities can read and write or execute any action on the specific resource. With resource-based policies for DynamoDB, we support the policy on the table, index, or DynamoDB stream. And you define the access permission by specifying who has access to which specific resource um, and what actions they are performed in there. You can simplify access control by switching the way that you define the permissions. It is worth mentioning that the max policy size is 20 kilobytes and it's integrated with IIM Access Analyzer and Block Public Access. If you want to work with resource-based policies, you will see a new tab as highlighted here on the top right side of the screen with the permission settings, and you will define the resource-based policy for that specific table. Notice that you only will have a resource-based policy for a stream that is active. Remember, you can only define the permission on the resource itself. We have the example where we need to give admin role read access to a DynamoDB stream. So we're, we're allowing the principal, the admin role from the account 11111222233333. And we're telling them that they have access to the script stream, get records, and get chart iterator. And notice that the resource is the full ARN of the DynamoDB stream. In this specific tag, we don't support star. So you need to specify the specific resource. And it has to match the resource which one you are defining the policy on. We have a different example here where we are giving the user full permissions to perform the query operation on the RBAC central, RBAC central table. As long as the partition can begin with product catalog, and they are asking for the specific attribute, product name, inventory, and due date. Finally, we have a different possibility of blocking public access to a DynamoDB table using resource-based policies where we define which actions are allowed on which principles. You can, you can deny access if you require, or you can define who has access to the specific resource here. You can work with identity-based policies and resource-based policies at the same time in conjunction. But notice that you will need to evaluate both policies and define the security posture at the end. So now let's work on the demo. It's going to be a cross-account access. I have a Lambda function in one of my accounts, and I have a DynamoDB table in a different account. So this is the Lambda function that I just created for this example. It's very, very simple. I'm just doing a scan operation on the table ending on 5877. And notice that I'm, I'm in the account, in the account 9255. If I have a look and go to the other account, this is my is ending in 5877, and I don't have any resource-based policy on the customer bookmark table. If I execute the test on this function, I will get an access denied, because there is no one providing access to that specific Lambda function. If we explore the permissions in the Lambda function, I have, this is my, my, my Lambda execution role, I have access to the logs, And since this is a cross-account scenario, I have to get permissions from the Lambda function in this account to access a resource in a different account. 
However, notice that this permission that I give here doesn't actually provide the access to the DynamoDB table. It is only to access the cross-account resource in the destination table. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to create a resource-based policy for the table. Notice that I have for the stream, but not for the table. I just pasted the resource-based policy that will allow us to give access to the permissions function role, as we can see here, permissions function role. And to my admin, admin role, because I'm going to show you how you can also give access to different entities or different principles to access DynamoDB resource. So what we have done, we created a resource-based policy for the DynamoDB table in the account that ends in 5877, because we're giving access to the roles, uh, to the principles in account that ends in 9255 to access this DynamoDB table. And to validate that, I'm going to do first an AWS STS get color identity to show you that I have actually have assumed a role for the respective account. And I'm going to do AWS DynamoDB scan operation where the table name is, and I'm going to paste here the, the name of the DynamoDB table. Copy and paste. And you can see that we got access to the resource in the DynamoDB table. If we go back to the Lambda function, Whenever I execute this test one more time, notice that I haven't changed anything else, and I run this test, I will get the information that I require for my Lambda function because I provided access in the resource, the DynamoDB table itself. I hope that you have enjoyed this video where I show you how you can implement resource-based access control policies in your DynamoDB table and DynamoDB streams. The same applies for global secondary index as the procedure will be just defined on the index itself. With resource-based access control, you can simplify your security posture, especially when you are enabling cross-account access. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Esteban Serna. I am a senior DynamoDB Specialist Solution Architect. And to the next time.